wanted to start off the vlog by thanking the sponsor of today's video, Alpine Agency. I truly cannot believe it is almost the end of 2024. Like this year flew by, especially for me being pregnant and then having a baby. And now it's like Christmas time. And I remember this time last year, first finding out I was pregnant and then thinking, oh my gosh, this time next year, I'm gonna have a four month old. And now we're basically at that point and it's just flown. And as you guys know, around this time of year is when open enrollment happens for health insurance in South Carolina. And for me, I really have understood the importance of having great healthcare insurance, especially this year. Obviously, like I said, going through pregnancy and adding a new addition to our family, making sure that we have good coverage for our entire family. It's something I really just never understood the importance of until this year. And I know that insurance can seem so overwhelming. I know when I look at all the plans and options that are out there, I get super overwhelmed, which is why I was so thankful to find Alpine Agency. I didn't even know something like this existed, but essentially their purpose is to find the right plan for you. Their agents are local to South Carolina, so they're actually able to meet with you in person or they can also meet with you virtually if you would prefer. When you meet with an agent, you're able to discuss things like what your current plan entails, marketplace coverage, and anything significant that your family might need specific coverage for. And I know that health insurance can sound really costly and you feel like it can add up over time, but truly in an unexpected emergency, it is just invaluable because it can save you from like major financial burden. Open enrollment is actually happening right now through December 15th. So you can go to the link in the description and fill out the consultation form to find the right plan for you today. And thank you again so much to Alpine Agency for sponsoring today's video. Good morning, you guys. I am currently pumping, if you hear that, um, and making some breakfast. It is, I filmed a couple clips yesterday. I was gonna start the vlog yesterday, then I never did. Um, but we're having ourselves a little Saturday. We are gonna go to, I think, get a coffee typical and then i want to get my hobby lobby and get some more ornaments for our tree i'll show you guys but i have a bunch of ornaments um that i've just collected over the years zach and i get a ornament every year that like represents something that happened that year so like we have like a tequila bottle for the year that we went to mexico we have like a little house for last year when we closed on our house we have like one last year my mom got, my mom got me was um um one about like being pregnant and stuff so Anyway, we just have like little ornaments and stuff like that that I love to put on the tree and I ordered ribbon too because I want to put some velvet uh, bows on the tree. I think I mentioned that in the last vlog versus doing like the normal ornaments that I do. So yeah, like the normal like classic like different colored bulb ornaments. So I want to do like our collective ornaments and then the bows. So I want to go get an ornament for this year because we haven't got one yet and I'm trying to find one that's like for either like one for us and then one for Luke that's like my first Christmas or whatever. And I think I might go to Hobby Lobby because they have like a huge wall of ornaments and they're all kind of like the same style of ornaments that I have for, like that I already have. So I think I might go there. Zach is at a weightlifting competition this morning. Well, it's not like, he's not weightlifting in it. If you guys don't know, he's a strength coach and it's the female strength meet today so he is at that so yeah Zach and, or Luke and I are just having like a little day just mom and son day together but I'm gonna finish cooking up some food just wanted to intro the vlog like I said I think we're gonna get coffee I got a coffee yesterday a holiday drink because the holiday drinks are back at Starbucks and it just didn't hit because it was like 80 degrees out and I got a hot drink and I was really sad about it so I am probably gonna get a coffee but it's just not gonna be a holiday drink today because that was really disappointing yesterday. But I'm just happy that the holiday drinks are back though because I just get so excited this time of year. Um, I'm just so ready for it to like actually cool off. I'm looking at our Alexa right now. It's 68 degrees out right now. So I literally have on a sweater for that reason. So anyway, I'm gonna finish cooking and then we're gonna go get some stuff and then I wanna decorate the tree and stuff once the ribbon comes in. I ordered off Amazon. I think it's gonna come in tomorrow. So we might have to do that tomorrow, but. Okay, also while I clean my pump parts, I figured I would just say thank you so much to so many of you guys that commented about your breastfeeding journeys and like tips for breastfeeding and like all these things that I like clearly needed help with. It really always means so much to me when you guys give me advice on stuff, especially because I'm just such a person that like I'd rather listen and hear like from someone else's experience versus like going on Google and like trying to find stuff on Google, you know what I mean? Um, I just really value like other people's 
experiences and opinions you guys commented and a lot of you guys even dm'd me um stuff too so it was just really really sweet um and i'm very thankful for you guys for doing that but update breastfeeding is going so much better we he's like back to it back to normal um and i'm back to just pumping once in the morning and once at night um or sometimes i won't even pump once at night sometimes like basically i'm just pumping once or twice a day to build a stash and just have enough to give him a bottle every day so yeah because we normally give him a bottle like at nighttime but anyway i just wanted to thank you guys for being so sweet and giving so much of your advice and opinions and experience on breastfeeding and stuff because it is not for the week it is definitely hard but it is like so rewarding and i'm so thankful and think it's like the greatest blessing and coolest thing that we get to that i get to like feed my baby from my body so anyway just want to tell you guys that okay we are driving right now but i decided to switch up my order and i got a um salted caramel cold foam cold brew thing <laughs> i don't even know what it is officially called but i ordered on the app it looked really good and it's pretty good i added extra vanilla and it still is just not sweet enough in my opinion I'm sorry this person behind me is probably annoying because i could have turned and i didn't um also it's you can probably hear luke's sound machine in the back he's taking a solid nap thank god we did go to hobby lobby and picked out some ornaments and i will show them to you whenever we get home they honestly did not have as many cute ones as i was expecting them to have they had like a whole wall but like some of them were just so cheesy and like uh, i don't know i just was like not about it like they had like a million different like ones that were like ramen noodles or like a chinese food one or like i don't know i was just not it was not giving what it needed to give and i was just like okay i don't i don't resonate with ramen noodles i don't need ramen noodle ornaments for my tree why do we have so many ramen noodle options here so it was just like random ornaments like that and i was like, like there was like an armadillo one i was like excuse me like what who's buying an armadillo ornament if you are more power to you let me know if you're getting an armadillo ornament but i am not getting an armadillo ornament like what why what would i do that for anyway so just like random ones like that and i was like excuse me they only had one that was like my first christmas so i got that one it's not that cute but I was trying to find something else that was symbolized as first Christmas and I just couldn't find anything. So, yeah, but I'll show you the ones that I got whenever we get home. I have been all over this place, the place in this vlog. I cannot speak. Um, also, I look kind of blue, but I think it's because I'm in front of the TV and the TV is casting a weird light on me. But I want to show you guys the ornaments that I'm going to decorate the tree with today. I just got in the... Um, ribbon from amazon so i'll show you what ribbon i'm doing too and then we can decorate the tree together and i'll show you the ornaments that i picked up yesterday at hobby lobby and yeah i'm excited to decorate the tree with all these sweet little ornaments because they are just like special versus like really random ornaments that are just like you know normal ones that you decorate your tree with so i'm hoping it turns out like how i'm envisioning in my head but we will see okay, i have them all in this little bowl but um i think i mentioned a few of these to you guys already but like this house is one that i got last year for us moving into our new house like buying our first house the tequila bottle from when we went to mexico this is like a weightlifting um like dumbbell thing for the year that zach got a new job as a strength coach i mean he's always been a strength coach but like a new job like somewhere else as a drink coach <laughs> then this is what my mom got me last year when we found out we were pregnant i got this santa yesterday at hobby lobby because i just thought it was sweet it's like the first year that we are going to be playing santa claus so i thought it would be cute to get that and then i got this one for luke's first christmas it was the only one they had so it's not the cutest thing in the world but still and then and it's blue which i thought was cute and then like my aunt got me this one when we got engaged this is a snowflake from my christmas tree growing up my mom would decorate all of our um like put a bunch of these snowflake ornaments on there so this is really special to me there's another ornament that i need to get from her from another tree she used to decorate with like all the same ornaments and so i'm adding that to our tree and then this is a grill that i got for zach because it is the year that he got his blackstone and started like cooking for us all the time so i thought that was funny 
and yeah i don't know i just think it's fun to collect ornaments like this and add them to your tree every year so we've been getting new ornaments every single year for the past four years to add onto the tree so i feel like i'm building up somewhat of a collection i feel like we had other ones and i don't know if i'm missing some or what but maybe this is it i don't know but i do feel like i had a couple more and i cannot find them so that's a bummer but um let me show you the ribbon okay so this is the two different ribbon colors that i got kind of like a cream color and then this red um so we're gonna tie these to like some of the branches on the tree hopefully it turns out cute and like i said like how i'm envisioning it says this is 10 yards of ribbon so i really hope there's enough in here uh, it kind of looks like it will be, but you know, we'll see. Good thing I got two. <laughs> the tree is coming together i don't know how i feel about the red bows i kind of feel like they're a lot so i may sub them out and just do these cream bows but i do love like the little hints of red so i don't know but i do need to get some more <laughs> ornaments to fill this tree up um so we need to get like some more i need to go to like a cute little boutique or something and find some there but I do kind of like how it's coming together. I like the ribbons. I just don't know if I love the red. I just feel like the red kind of like, it's like bam, like in your face. You know what I mean? But like the cream is cute. Like I like, like, like I like the look of the ribbons on the tree. I just need to figure out if the red is too much. I almost ordered a wine color, but then I was worried it was gonna look too purple. So then I didn't. And now I think the red looks too red. So yeah. Anyway, we'll see what Zach says. I'm sure he's gonna literally hate it because he hates anything that's like different. But I like, the idea of the ribbons on the tree. I just need to figure out if the red is too much. Hey guys it's much much later i figured i would kind of finish off this vlog with the end of like christmas stuff um we are at tj maxx because i just need to get a couple more things for the tree because the bows are just not doing it for me i've been like staring at them for the past week and they kind of look ridiculous so i'm trying to find just some like i don't know just like normal bulb ornaments to kind of fill out the rest of the tree um and then i want to also just like kind of shop around i feel like home goods tj maxx and marshall's always does a really good job with like christmas decor and stuff so i'm hoping i can find what i'm looking for in here i also need to get a tree skirt so that is the other situation that we are going to be looking for in here and then i'm hoping i can do a little car haul of what i find but hopeful that they have what i'm looking for i know it's gonna be crowded in here so i'll try and vlog maybe some clips of what they have but they really probably don't have they're really probably gonna be so crowded in here and i'm gonna be just like trying to navigate the aisles so i probably won't <laughs> really vlog much but um yeah i didn't really vlog the rest of this week any because you guys saw we took family photos on tuesday but um it was my first week back to work someone commented and was like oh i didn't know you like also worked outside of youtube and social media social media is technically like a part-time job for me i am really close to being able to make it like something full-time 
um, but just not there yet. So I do have a remote job that I love. Um, I do I work in recruiting and it's really, really fun and I enjoy it um, and it's, you know, a remote job so I get to work from home, which is so nice. Uh, and I only have to go in the office like once a month, which is great. And I really love my coworkers and team and everybody that I work with. So it definitely makes a difference when you enjoy your job, even though it is still really, really hard to not be able to be like just a full-time mom. But yeah, anyway, I did have a good week back to work and adjusting to things. I think it's going to take me just a little while longer to like fully get adjusted to a new routine. So I'll share all that with you guys since I'm like in the full swing of things and vlogging um, my days and stuff again. I'm hopeful that I'm going to start working out this week in the mornings. That's like my plan is to like get up early and get a workout in before Zach leaves for work and while um, Luke like takes like his last kind of like nap of the morning time before we start the day. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, enough rambling. I'm going to see what I can find in here. You guys look at the sky tonight. It is literally stunning. I'm obsessed. Okay, I ended up grabbing this garland from TJ Maxx because I've been looking for one for a fireplace that looks real and I think this looks pretty real. So, and it was a good price. I think it was only like 35 bucks. Bentley, I'm about to roll my ankle on your toys. Um, anyway, I just really like how it looks on the fireplace. I think it hangs really well. So love how that turned out. And then still in the process with the tree, I cannot figure out the bows. I feel like the bows just look so stupid. So <laughs> I'm going to keep playing around with it. I'll show you guys the final result, maybe in another vlog. Like literally the bows just look so dumb. So I need to play around and I found some ornaments to like fill in the rest. I think I might just stick with like, if I put bows, I might just do the white ones and maybe these little velvet red ones. I don't know. We're going to figure it out, but... Yeah, it's just not cute right now. Okay, another little update. We added this wreath to the kitchen over the oven and stuff, and I think it looks super cute. And then we also added, well, we replaced, if you guys remember, there was two, <laughs> there was two photos side by side on this wall, and I was kind of tired of looking at them, so I found this one. I kept seeing it at Target. And I had measured it and everything, and I was like, this would fit perfectly on this wall. So we got it yesterday, and I think it looks really good. I think it ties the whole kitchen together. Like, everywhere you look, like, the different angles. Looking at it, it looks really good. So I'll link it down below, too. I linked it on my stories yesterday, and you guys were already purchasing it. Because it really is a good piece. It's really good quality. And I feel like it looks... I don't know, sometimes I think paintings can look kind of cheap. And I feel like this one actually looks like a nice painting. So then I added this little tree to our island, which I think looks good. And then this candle, I can't remember if I've talked about it already, but I'm going to link this candle too because it smells exactly like Christmas. And I really like the glass shape on it. I feel like a lot of people have been posting these candles lately. And I don't know, it's really, really cute too. So I feel like this is a cute little centerpiece for the island. Mm -hmm. 